Hello, my loop friends. How are you? Oh, me? I'm fine. Uh, I have been watching musicians play loop music into various different types of loop pedals for many, many years, almost a decade now. And I love the differences. I love watching the different gear and, you know, trying to figure out why do people choose the different things that they use. And I remember. I was watching the many, many dozens of looping videos that I that I routinely watch, and all of a sudden there was a video by Rachel Claudio, and it was like nothing that I had seen before. I tried, uh, try as best as I could. I was trying to figure out what loop pedal or you know device is she using, and I couldn't make heads or tails of it. There was just this big pad controller which I didn't know what a pad controller was back then but it was just big it's just a big huge bunch of buttons and she was just doing something and looping but it was like better than looping that I usually see and I kept trying to figure out like what's the answer what is she doing what is she using and the only word I kept getting back was Ableton and I was well what is what is that Never really could, you know, fully comprehend what was going on there. I just had to plug it into the back of my brain and say that that's something that apparently people who have the money to f do whatever that is can do. And that's cool. Uh, fast forward a couple more years. All of a sudden, there is this video by Elise Tro, Rhymes with Snow. And... This is just another huge quantum leap forward. If you have never seen an Elise Tro video, you definitely, it is such a treat. But it was like some kind of just amazing musical alchemy. She just goes on one instrument and demonstrates her virtuosity and then just stands up and walks to another one and another one and she just plays all the instruments and does all the things and sings so beautifully and just but the thing of it was was that like she is looping like every instrument she arrives at she just plays a little lick and you know a phrase and then that starts looping over and over again and she walks to a different location, so clearly she doesn't have just one loop pedal somewhere that she's she's not even touching any loop pedal. Like, what in the world is going on? This is just another totally what? Can't even figure it out. The answer comes back again. The new Ableton. New Ableton can just do it now she's she doesn't have another person over there somewhere pressing all the loop pedals for her while she's playing the instruments no no the new ableton apparently can just you can just preset exactly what you want the song to be recording when you want it to be recording it and then you can just play the sounds into it and it'll be looping exactly how you pre-configured it to do and i mean i just um my brain does not do that i'm like whoa i mean yeah that's that is absolutely amazing i love to watch it i don't really think i'm gonna be doing it anytime soon. I mean, I just stuck it in the back of my brain for like many years from now, maybe that technology will fall to us broke folks and we can do that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, until then, I'm just gonna just watch and enjoy. Fast forward to the year 2022, actually tail end of 2021, Loopy Pro came out and uh, quite affordably put that technology into all of our hands. And uh, it has been more than a year since then. And uh, you can just use Loopy Pro to pre-configure how you want it to loop and then just play sounds into it and just have it do what you pre-set it up to do um, and it has been more than a year that we have had this capability 
and uh, I would not have to pay one thin dime in order to start experimenting and doing that stuff now and uh, I just can't even find the motivation like I just it's not I just I just want to improvise that's all I, would, I just I just only want to improvise that's all I care about but uh, a lot of you uh, definitely do and definitely are interested in how do you set this up and how do you do it and uh, I definitely hear that like when I'm going around to the loop of pro places here and there like I see that question over and over and over again so it has been stuck in the back of my brain for you know future if I ever see something and then a couple of days ago a couple of days ago I saw something I saw it there is a youtuber a person on the YouTubes and his name is Chris Russell Robinson and he has made the exact video that a lot of you folks are looking for he um, well I'll show you what he made he made a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, where he teaches you exactly how to do this Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. Ba-dum, bum, bum, lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop. So, my loop friends, if you are interested in a step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to do exactly that, and I suspect that some of you are, uh, you can just click this video right here, and it will take you right to those instructions, and you can learn exactly uh, how to do that. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, my loop friends, loop on.